Reality TV has been a huge staple in the world of television for decades, and for as long as it's been around, the majority of its stars have attempted to piggyback off their show's successes into other ventures, like music, acting, and business. Naturally, some reality personalities are deemed more cut out for their breakout success than others. However, these next 10 have proven themselves to be the biggest Hollywood deals since taking off from their reality beginnings and achieving incredibly strong solo careers. In the comments below, drop the name of one reality star you've kept up with and let's jump right in. Taking our 10th spot is American Idol's first season winner Kelly Clarkson. Since receiving AI's first ever grand prize money of $250,000, this Texas native has revolutionized herself so far in the modern pop history that her journey is pretty untouchable. Her breakout series of pop hits during the mid-2000s, like the single Since You've Been Gone, holds the kind of success stories endless reality stars dream of most. And now, following numerous Grammy Award wins and millions of albums distributed, Kelly serves as a The Voice mentor and and coach and host her daytime talk show featuring daily self covers of popular artists hit songs. There's truly no knowing how high Kelly will continue to climb up Hollywood's ladder, but she seems to be doing an amazing job of keeping up with the bunch. Most recently, Kelly's talk show has seen a notable absence from its leading star, leaving fans stunned. Kelly's supporters were completely taken aback after the show posted a rather shocking upload to their Instagram page. On January 8th, the program informed viewers that the show would see a series of guest hosts filling in for Kelly during the week of January 9th. With a lineup including big stars like Nick Jonas and Howie Mandel. But no word as to why Kelly would be missing. Not to mention, the singer has been pretty low key on her social media accounts, leaving the world to speculate what exactly she could be up to, if she's okay, and in anticipation for her return. Before we jump into number 9, like today's Where Are They Now if you've ever heard a Kelly Clarkson song. Taking our 9th spot is The Masked Singer's 7th season winner, Tiana Taylor. Tiana is a dancer, singer, and actress who signed her initial record deal in 2005 with Pharrell Williams. Her winning TMS song was Robin Thicke's Lost Without You, performed on May 18th, 2022, and ironically, at 31 years of age, Tiana made show history by becoming their youngest winner. Now, Tiana has dropped the announcement of her next album, her third full-length body of music titled The Album, which is meant to be released in June under Def Jam slash Good Music. This release comes off the high of her widely acclaimed 2018 LP Keep That Same Energy, shortened as KTSE, and the star's single and music video with Lauryn Hill for We Got Love, released back in March. With this, the artists, her husband, NBA player Iman Schumpert, and their daughter are focal points of VH1's reality show Tiana and Iman. A new documentary called Assembly Required, Tiana Taylor's House of Petunia will also give fans a BTS look at one of Tiana's most visually brilliant and intricate concerts. Later in the year, Tiana can be spotted in coming to America, the heavily anticipated sequel to Eddie Murphy's classic 1998 film. Taking our 8th spot is Love Island UK's 4th season winners Jack Finkham and Danny Dyer. One of the United Kingdom's biggest television franchises, Love Island, scored big in the summer of 2018 when their islanders, Jack and Danny, coupled up on their first day and rode through all the highs and lows with one another, including a surprise arrival of Jack's ex, all the way to the jackpot to win the 50,000 grand prize. Their undying loyalty and natural chemistry easily made them early frontrunners to win, and there wasn't a single couple who threatened their top place. This couple took up 80% of votes, marking the biggest margin of victory on Love Island ever, and rightfully deeming them ally royalty. However, the lovebirds' sparkling romance didn't last, as 8 months after their time in the lavish villa, the pair shocked fans with a breakup announcement. Since this, Danny has alluded to exciting things for her and her current footballer boyfriend, Gerard Bowen, with a vague major step. Jack, on the other hand, has remained single for the majority of his time out of the villa and revealed a brand new look in a surprising career move after his rough substance battle. Both individuals have capitalized big time on their Love Island fame through their influencer lifestyles, leaning into personal appearances and hosting gigs. Taking our 7th spot is American Idol's 4th season winner Carrie Underwood. Following Carrie's performance of Alone for the show's Billboard No. 1's week, Judge Simon Cowell stated that not only would Carrie clean sweep the season, which she did, but she would go on to outsell every AI winner before her. While this comment may have been a dig at Kelly, Simon was indeed right about Carrie's presence in the industry. In her time as a coveted artist, Carrie has moved on to selling over 70 million worldwide records and is a 7 time Grammy Award and 14 time Academy of Country Music Awards winner. Additionally, she scored the top 5 spot as the highest certified female artist on RIAA's top artist ranking, launched her fashion line, and snagged a spot in Guinness's world record for her earnings for the most number ones for a female country artist. Taking our 6th spot is The Masked Singer's 3rd season winner Candy Burris. Candy holds many titles in Hollywood, mainly that of a TV personality, singer, actress, and businesswoman. She won
won the May 2020 season of TMS. Candy's initial rise to prominence started in the 90s as one of the four female members of the vocal group Escape. Though the reality star is best known for her reality show career, through the Real Housewives of Atlanta, among other franchises, her past with Escape, and her songwriting credits on some of the biggest tracks to exist in the music industry. Now, the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast member has shed light on some of her more recent career success, and even dropped an announcement for her new podcast named Candy Coded Live. The podcast launched on January 9th, and Candy later took to IG Live to reveal that she's currently producing a movie with her husband and former RHOA production manager, Todd Tucker. Taking our fifth spot is American Idol's sixth season winner, Jordan Sparks. Jordan was a huge staple in singing and songwriting in her time, and she remains a semi-popular figure in music today. However, she also once dabbled in acting, appearing in the film Sparkle, and even performed in the Heights Broadway show playing Nina Rosario. Jordan has transitioned into something of a businesswoman, dropping numerous lines of perfume in her time. Most recently, the star was seen all dressed up as a secret contestant for another reality series, The Masked Dancer. In December 2022, the singer shared a sweet upload of her son DJ's first Disneyland trip. It's clear that Jordan enjoyed creating some pretty valuable memories alongside her family in the happiest place on earth. She, her husband Dana Isaiah, and their four-year-old son all embarked on a treat of a trip for DJ's first time to the famous family resort. Jordan shared the images of their occasion in an Instagram post. Taking our fourth spot is Dancing with the Stars' seventh season winner, Brooke Burke. Brooke managed to sweep out her competition on Dancing with the Stars when she paired up with Derek Hough to be awarded the famous Mirabal Trophy. Brooke defeated both former footballer Warren Sapp and NSYNC's Lance Bass in the finals and holds the title of one of the most popular contestants in the history of the show in a season that also featured Kim Kardashian. Brooke has racked up an impressive net worth of $25 million, stemming mainly from her model work with star-studded top brands like Playboy and Maxime. Most recently, the former DWTS champ turned host shared rare Instagram pics with her fans, and they're pretty shocked at how big her kids are now. As a mom of four, Brooke doesn't give many sneak peeks of her children all in one frame, especially while they were still young during her time on Dancing with the Stars. However, nowadays, they're all grown up. Daughters Naria and Sierra are 22 and 20 respectively, while other daughter Haven Rain is 15. Brooke's son, Shea, is 14. Sharing sweet photos from the holidays, Brooke's kids can be seen coordinating in matching red pajamas for the joyous occasion. Taking our third spot is Master Chef's third season winner, Christine Hobb. Christine still holds the position of the most impressive win within Master Chef history because of her stunning skills as a blind chef who skillfully navigated her way around kitchens like she had 2020 vision. She crafted up dishes that most chefs could only dream of cooking and was able to pull off amazing presentations and wildly bold flavors into every one of her plates. Following her win, Christine released an Asian and American comfort food recipe cookbook. She also offers personal chef services and owns a Houston restaurant. With this, Christine is a food blogger, brand ambassador, and works for a cooking show created for chefs with visual impairments. To this day, Christine remains a true inspiration to all home cooks who second guess their worth and was given a 2014 Helen Keller Personal Achievement Award to define her many monumental achievements. Taking our second spot is The Bachelorette's 15th season winner, Hannah Brown. In the 2019 season premiere of The Bachelorette, Hannah tried her very best to source out the men with partners, but unfortunately she missed a big one. The former Miss Alabama familiarized herself and fell in love with Nashville musician Jet Wyatt during her season on the ABC dating series, later accepting his season finale proposal. However, not long after filming wrapped in May, Jet's then girlfriend stepped forward to expose how he dropped on one knee for another woman after allegedly informing her that his purpose on the show was to make top 5 so he could gain traction for his music career. In turn, Hannah Hannah confronted her then fiance, who revealed he didn't properly cut off his relationship with his ex prior to filming. Hannah called off her engagement to Jed after this, becoming the first lady in over 15 years to end her season a single woman. Since Hannah has been focusing on putting herself first, and additionally won Dancing with the Stars' 28th season on November 25th, 2019. Taking our first spot is America's Next Top Model's 22nd season winner, Niall DeMarco. Niall was the first person in AMTM history to compete on the series with hearing impairment. At the time, the Deaf Stars season was aired on the CW network. In an interesting twist, when Nile was scouted by producers on social media to sign onto the show, they were unaware he was deaf until way later. However, he charmed the judges from the start as a favorite contender. Speaking with people though, Nile informed them that his time living with the other aspiring models was quote, undoubtedly a lot of fun, but also pretty tough. The inability to use my language, American Sign Language, and the lack of communication, information access, and the 
general connection to the world was difficult. It truly did take a toll on me mentally. Impressively, Nal is the second man ever to win AMTM and eventually signed with modeling agency Wilhelmina Models shortly after his success. Less than a year after he competed and won Dancing with the Stars' 22nd season with professional ballroom dancer Pita Murgatroyd. On Dancing with the Stars, Nal was the second deaf contestant to grace stage after 2008's Marley Matlin and was consistently ranking in top scores, proving he was fit as a champ until the fitting end of his show run. Since bagging both ANTM and DWTS, Nal has continued to represent the deaf community by raising awareness of their culture. In 2016, he created a non-profit foundation to provide help and resources to deaf children and their families. The star has also made TV series appearances as well, like Switched at Birth and Close to Station 19. That's been today's WATN. I've been your host, Michaela, and thanks for watching, friends.